All right, continuing with polynomials, um, uh, let's find the intercepts of these polynomials. Um, the x-intercepts are the places where they cross the x-axis, and you find that by setting the polynomial equal to 0 and solving. And the y-intercepts you get by uh, plugging in 0 for x. So just for um, this first one, let's look at it. This first example we have is uh, 3x minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Let's graph this one and look at it, and then we'll... Uh, answer it. Minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. This one's just a uh, parabola, so we could um, we can look at it and see the here's where it crosses the y-axis. Here's where it crosses the x-axis here and here. So we could just pull our numbers off of here, but let's uh, let's actually work it out. Uh, off of Desmos, the um, the y, y intercept would be one, and the x intercepts would be one and negative one third. But let's uh, let's actually work it out. All right. So for this one, the x intercept, we take this, set it equal to zero, and solve. Now. Um, I'm going to multiply this by negative 1 on both sides. And solve this thing. Factor it. Let's see, 3x, x, 1 and 1. Now, I need to do this in such a way that um, we get negative 2x here. So if I make that minus and this plus, when we multiply it out, we'll get, um, let's see, that'd be minus 3x plus x is minus 2x, so that'll do it. So our x-intercepts are going to be, let's see, from this first one, you set 3x plus 1 equals 0, so you get x equals minus 1 third, and then you get x equals 1 from the other. I'm beginning to wonder if I gave myself enough space to do some of the rest of these. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see. All right, the y, inter y intercepts are easy. To get the y intercept, you just plug in x equals 0. So you get 0, 0, 1. Now this next one, um, to do its x-intercepts, we set it equal to zero. Now its x-intercepts are, are easy to find because if I set this equal to zero, I can uh, I get 2x plus 5 is zero, 1 minus x is zero, so this gives me x is 1, and this gives me 2x is negative 5. So x is minus 5 halves. Um, the y-intercept, I guess on this one the y-intercept is a little more work, but, but not much. All you got to do is plug in 0 for both the x's. So you get 2 times 0 plus 5 times 1 minus 0. So that's just 5 times 1 is 5. All right, let's do this next one now. x squared minus 3x to the fifth minus 5x to the fourth. Okay, I can I can factor at least some of this. I can factor out, well, well for the x-intercepts. I can factor out an x squared. And I'm left with 1 minus 2x, or no, 1 minus 3x cubed minus 5x to the second equals 0. 
all right, so that gives me x equals, x squared equals zero. That's easy to solve, that gives me x is zero. Now this other one, this one's not easy to solve. And honestly, um, there's not really a good way to solve it. If you've got a, um, well, let, me, let me rewrite it, negative three x cubed minus five x squared plus one equals zero. Um, solving just a, a general um, cubic equation like that is not easy. Uh, you might say, you know, there's a quadratic formula. Is there a cubic formula? And the answer to that is yes, there is a cubic formula, but it's long and it's ugly. It's got a couple of different cases and it's not a pleasant thing to deal with. So um, if I were to give you a problem like this, I wouldn't give you something like this on a timed test or anything because it would be uh, maybe, I wouldn't say unfair, but it's not really a sporting question to ask. Um, the best way to solve this would be to um, to plot it and see if we see what the solution is. Let's see, what is this one? This is x squared minus 3x to the fifth minus 5x to the fourth. So it's that fun equation. And notice I, um, well, what did I find earlier? I found zero was a solution. Looks like we got three more. 0 0.401, and that's gonna be an approximation. So getting these others, we're just gonna get from Desmos and say they are approximately uh, negative 1.523 negative 0.545 and 0 0.401 all right and like i say there's not really a much better way to do that okay what about these others over here all right this top one um that one we can solve oh, oh wait on this one those are the x-intercepts. The y-intercepts I didn't do, but those are easy. You plug in zero, so you just get y equals zero. And we saw that on the graph a second ago. It touched right at the origin, so zero is a uh, x-intercept and a y-intercept. All right. Um, Let's do these other uh, three examples. For uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The y-intercepts, since those are easy, I'm just going to do those over here first. For this uh, first one, the y-intercept is one. For this one, the y-intercept is going to be. Let's see. If you plug in zero for x, you're going to get zero times one times negative four. So that's just going to be zero. For this one, if you plug in zero for x, you're going to get two to the fourth and then uh, four to the third. So let's see, two to the fourth is um, 16. Four to the third, I think is 256. No, four to the third is 64. So 64 times 16 is 1,024. So the y-intercepts on those are quick. The x-intercepts are going to be easier on some than others. Now, this one that's, uh, well, let's start with this one on the bottom. The x-intercepts here, we'll just set each one of these things individually to zero. So x cubed plus two to the fourth equals zero. Take the fourth root of both sides. So you get x cubed equals negative two. So you get the cube root of negative two. And then the other one you get two x plus four cubed is zero. Take the cube root of both sides of that, you get two x plus four equals zero. So that'll give you x's um, 
negative 2. Let's, um, let's actually graph that one, because something interesting is going to happen there with those, those big powers. Let's see. Desmos, here we go. All right, if I graph y equals x cubed plus 2 times 2x plus 4 third, I get these two things, or I get these two um, uh, zeros. And I just realized I left off my fourth power. Watch what happens when I put the fourth power on there. So we've got two, two zeros here. This one right here, negative 1.26, that is the cube root of negative 2. Um, if I take the cube root of negative 2, negative 2, I'm just going to raise it to the one third power. If I do that on my calculator, you can see the value is minus 1. Point, it's an irrational number, but it's right at negative 1.26. So that's what I've got there. And that's a zero of multiplicity four. That's why it's it's kind of flat there. Now the other number over here where it touches is at negative two, and that's a zero of multiplicity three. So it's kind of flat there as well. All right. This is getting a little long, and I'm tempted not to do these last two examples. But, you know, um, if it's getting too long, you can cut the video off. But if you need more examples, you can keep watching. So let's, uh, let's do them. All right. We're, so we're still finding the x-intercepts for these other two functions. All right. This one up here, this one's a parabola. So we can find its x-intercepts. Um, we might be able to factor it. We, uh, if it factors, it's going to factor like this. I don't think that's going to work because there's not a way to get um, there's not a way to mix pluses and minuses in here to get a positive two there and a positive one over there. So let's use the quadratic formula. So it's going to be minus b plus or minus. Let me make this bigger square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Okay, I gotta be careful. Yep. I gotta be careful in a number of ways. 4 times a times c. a in this case is 3 and c is 1. Doesn't really matter there as far as the order, but um, it's tempting sometimes to think of them in order as, as like a, b, c, but Remember, the a is the goes with the x squared, b is with x, and c is the um, constant. So this is all over 2a, and a in this case is 3. So notice what we've got here. Uh, this winds up being minus 2 plus or minus the square root of, that's 4 minus 12, negative 8. So that tells us this thing has no... Um, no, uh, no x-intercept. If we were to graph it, this thing uh, opens upward. So if we were to graph it, it would look something like, I'm not sure where it would be, but it would be opening upward and it would never dip down far enough to hit the axis, the x-axis. All right. Now this last one, uh, we'd set each one of these things equal to zero individually to get our uh, zeros. This one would give us x equals zero. This one would give us x equals four. This one though, uh, if we tried to solve it by setting x squared plus x plus one equals zero, 
and using the quadratic formula. I'm going to do b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2a. I wind up getting uh, no solution or no, no real root because that's uh, negative. So the only x intercepts we get are 0 and 4. All right, so um, that's uh, x-intercepts and uh, y-intercepts for polynomials.